pretty special here tonight in Hereford too. And as Craig Slater reports, this place at last has something to shout about again after all those years. It's no boxing mecca, but Hereford does have a knockout tradition. Oh, what a screamer from Ronnie Bradford for Hereford United. And 32 years after the famous FA Cup giant killing of First Division Newcastle, Dazzo Williams wants to get the ball rolling for boxing against Roy Rutherford. I can see Roy coming on, coming on for it because obviously he's going to be training for it because it's second time around and um, he's going to be angry like, but I'm, I'm even angrier. It's not just for winning the championship, it's just to prove to myself that I can beat this guy. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one, big time. Williams claimed the British crown from the Coventry man amid real controversy. And he's given it to Dazzo Williams and there's some raised eyebrows at ringside about that. I still think I won it. And, um, I threw the cleanest shots. He might, he might have done a more work rate, but he, he wasn't catching me. He's got his another chance. Um, I know he's going to be training hard for it, and I know he's going to come for it, so I'm ready for it. Like. And against Jamie McKeever, he looked a worthy champion. How much has he come on since becoming champion? As soon as he won a title, he just wants to train hard and, and work hard. You know, and uh, he's putting the work, you know, and he's determined to get himself even better, you know, he's got to improve. After this fight, then um, I'll be looking at the likes of Nicky Cook for the European and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's, to me, it's a stepping stone, but it's a stepping stone I can't afford to slip off. But Rutherford has his own agenda, and having won this title himself in McKeever's backyard, won't be phased here. Down goes McKeever! It's not really any new thing for me, so at the end of the day, I said times and times again, you know, at the end of the day, it's just me and him going in the ring. The crowd's not going to help him. A sharp punching technician, he believes tactical adjustments will give him the edge. He knows that he can last the pace and he can fight hard over the, the, the latter rounds of the fight. So all he's got to do to himself now is put the same effort into the earlier rounds. Just make sure keep going and going all the time. Just make it really sharper. And at this key stage in both their careers, defeat just isn't an option. I've got my chance here now, it's just up to me to do it. I'm 120% confident I'll be champion again. Barry, first on the champion, has Williams had due credit since he took charge of this title? Well, it's, he won the title and, and it was shrouded in controversy, so I don't think he has had credit. And he's a bit miffed about that, but he showed against McKeever that he's a much more mature fighter. He showed another element to his career. He boxed beautifully. He showed that his tail has been lifted when winning the title. But when he fought for the title, I thought he was extremely lucky. I thought that Rutherford had clearly won the fight. Uh, it was a tremendous night, and he got very miffed about that, and he, he didn't like what myself and Jim said. But the bottom line is, you know, we are professionals, we just give our professional opinion. And as far as we were concerned, and the 3,000 people who were, who were at the fight, they all thought that Rutherford had won as well. And with every due deference, it is his professional right to disagree fundamentally with what you said. And he <laughs> does, course, and yes. he still does, yes. and he thinks he did not get credit for the yeah. work he did in the fight. Yeah. Well, I don't think he won the fight. It was a great fight, it was close, but I thought Rutherford clearly won it. And he just done the, the cleaner punching, and he finished strong, and I just thought he looked better. OK, well, we're never going to agree on this, okay, are we? We're not so, agree. to look to tonight, what yeah. must Roy Rutherford do to make sure this time round? Well, he hit on it uh, in his interview there. He must start uh, fast. The last time he started slowly and he allowed Will uh, Williams into the fight, he's got to start fast and keep the pace high and make a clear win for himself tonight. But I'll tell you what, I don't fancy him here tonight. I think Williams has improved as a fighter. And I know it'll be close, but I still give Williams a distinct edge. Is it going to be easier for Williams now he's broken through some of the barriers that applied last time they met? For example, going 12 rounds in a championship fight. Yeah. For example, against a man who'd beaten him as an amateur, if you remember. Yeah, that's true. I don't, think, um, I don't think it's going to be easy for him, that's for sure. But I think he's a more mature fighter, he's a more complete fighter. And I think that that experience and the, the performance he showed against McKeever will add to his performance tonight. And I think he'll win, but it will not be easy. It'll be another tough fight. What must make a difference, however Roy Rutherford, who's very experienced away from home, tried to deny it, is the sort of hometown support that Williams can call upon this time. They're really, really getting behind their man here. It's all new to Hereford, but it might just be the start if Williams can pull this off tonight. He hopes the British title could be the start for him too, and as we've heard, already fancies moving up to European level. The only trouble is, that was the career path Rutherford had planned for himself, and that's why he so badly needs to win this one. Our top of the bill is next.
one. Here tonight, Hereford has truly come alive for its first ever British title fight. Our MC is John MacDonald. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, right here, right now, it's the main event. Please welcome to the ring the challenger from Coventry. Professional Roy Rutherford enters hostile territory and a champion's backyard once again. Fifteen months ago, he rose to the occasion and dethroned Merseyside's popular Jamie McKeever away from home. Now he attempts to repeat the feat against Dazzo Williams. Add that to the spice between the pair after Rutherford narrowly and controversially lost his British belt to Williams. And Glenn, we have a dangerous challenger whose desire is very real. Well, he believes he won last time. He believes he can win again, and that makes him certainly dangerous. It's going to be hard to overcome the, the crowd that are going to back Williams. That's a big thing, but you know, he's a quiet man. But he'll go about his business and he'll work hard. He'll be fit and he'll be ready. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the champion from Hereford, it's Dazzle Williams. That's the British title. First time ever in Hereford. They've come out in their droves. A fabulous small hall atmosphere, 1,200 seats sold in this sauna-like arena. And Dazzo Williams has done most of that personally from a stall in their main shopping centre. The Cathedral City becomes a boxing hotbed for a night. At last, they have a sporting success story in an area who's lived on that Ronnie Bradford goal. Remember that one, Glenn? <laughs> I thought you said you weren't going to mention that. But anyhow, it's great to see a non-boxing champ get behind them, man. That's wonderful. I'm sure he'll really feel like it. He'll feel like a million dollars in there. A British champion who's done it the hard way. And look at how they line up. This is going to be very, very tight. Both 30, the slight height advantage to the hometown favourite inside the nine stone limit. He's got the reach and he'll be looking for the skills and long range boxing, Williams. Rutherford's been around longer, more experienced. Only Williams is 30 fight tonight. Neither man big punches, so expect a long affair, which could swing and twist and turn. prestigious British featherweight title at stake. Ladies and gentlemen, Barry Hearn for Ringside Boxing Promotions in association with Prince Promotions and Matchroom Sport. Proudly present for your entertainment, 12 rounds of boxing for the British featherweight championship. Sponsored by PokerMillion.com for a great game of online poker and a very warm welcome to our sports fans joining us live and exclusive here on Sky Sports. You've joined us for the very best ringside seat in the business. Standing room only, all the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Representative in charge is Charlie Giles of Birmingham. Timekeeper at the bell is Tony Dunkley, and referee in charge of the action from All Hallows in Kent is Richie Davis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they are the officials. Here are the contestants. Firstly, an 
introducing to you the challenger fighting out of the red corner wearing the black trunks weighing in at eight stone 13 pounds two ounces 20 fight record 17 wins seven inside the scheduled distance two losses and one draw he is the former british featherweight champion from motor city coventry The champion, he's fighting out of the blue corner wearing the white trunks and weighing in, eight stone, 13 pounds, seven ounces. 12 fight record, 10 wins, three inside, the scheduled distance and two losses. He makes his second defense, he is the reigning and defending British featherweight champion from the beautiful city of Hereford, it's Tato. What noise in here? Give me a good clean contest. Make sure you defend yourselves at all times. Behave yourselves, do as you're told. God bless you both. Good luck. Richie Davis really having to strain his voice amongst this atmosphere. They meet for the third time. And on the previous occasions, both tantalizingly close and controversial. Roy Rutherford picked their amateur clash in 97. Dazzo Williams took that 115-114 decision to wrench the British nine stone belt from Rutherford last November in Belfast. So, who's the better and more improved fighter? There seems virtually nothing between these two. Is it all about who gets it tactically right tonight? Well, it all depends on really what happened last time. Well, who can grow from the result last time? Will it be Rutherford who you know, is spurred on by his controversial defeat? Or will Williams just get the confidence he needs to make him that much better? Rutherford started slowly in Ireland. The team know. He must try and put some rounds in the bank because Williams is so very, very fit. Looking for the uppercut, early Dazzo Williams. One criticism from uh, people was that he didn't use his skills well enough, Williams, at long range in their first fight. Well, he's got to mix the skills with the determination and the, the real hunger to win here. Dazzo, the crowd, pour out to the man who was born in South London but has adopted Hereford as his hometown. Good body shots. Rutherford felt those here in the first. Yeah, it was the other cut was a good shot that just stung Rutherford a little bit. Forced him to cover up. Has Dazzo Williams grown? Because he has the long spell belt. It's his title on the line to defend, and he did it ever so well against Jamie McKeever in Bridge End. Well, it's a good start for Williams. He's really loading up. He's looking to hurt Rutherford early. tries to come back with a big cluster one or two pick through already intense neither one known as a big puncher but they're both trying to load up and look for the heavy shots they want the early initiative that advantage that confidence boost. Gritty little battlers. It means so much to the two of them. Great first round. 
standing room only. Every seat sold by this man, Dazzo Williams. He wanted it in Hereford, but he's delivered, hasn't he? He certainly has. That was a, a good start. It was that of a cut. The legs just buckled slightly, covers up Rutherford, but he was in a little bit of trouble there. And that was a very good start for Dazzle Williams. Kept the punches going in. Rutherford tucked up, used his extra experience and got through that little spell. Rutherford did well though and came back and even managed to get a little cluster of punches on Williams that just had him covering up a little bit. the second round British featherweight title such a well-honored belt through the years the white trunks of Hereford's Dazzo Williams 30 years of age the same as the challenger and former champion Roy Rutherford from the Bell Green area of Coventry he's come with belief Rutherford that he got robbed when they met before and believes he will get it right again here. Trying to get that jab working, Williams. That could be a, a potent weapon. Yeah, I think that'd be a very good punch for Williams to use just through the middle. It's quite a high held defense that Rutherford has. And Punches around the outside, it's difficult, but through the middle are good. Winging the hooks, Dazzo Williams, relishing this defence. Says he'll be 120%. He's that confident he's going to win. But back comes Rutherford. This could be seesaw all the way. It's really good. It's seesaw at the moment, isn't it? Both them landing. Good shots. Again, works the body, now the head of Rutherford, just stuns the Midlands man momentarily. Well, they're both setting themselves, planting their feet, looking for the heavy shots. What a terrific start to what we hope will be a tightly contested battle again looking for that left hook to the body Williams what makes this interesting is both can be hurt as well that's right they both the times look a little bit vulnerable but both come back swinging this does look as if it could go either way doesn't it every time they both lunge for a punch commitment and desire are plenty from both fighters, who will break. They can't surely go on at this pace. Well, what a great opening to a fight we thought was going to be very good. Williams just getting the better of it for me. Just more shots, more accuracy. Superior start from Dazzo Williams, but Roy Rutherford will attempt to push him every bit of the way. A very warm welcome back to the first boxing in Hereford for 50 years, and what a way to come back. Well, it certainly is. The putting the show on for the, the, the non-boxing fans. I think there might be a few more boxing fans after this from Hereford. Usually art and music festivals around these parts. Cultural Market City tonight. They're getting a really good fight. So far, so good. Third round here. Williams has made the more effective start, but Rutherford has had his moments too. really has got an intensity about him, hasn't he, Dazzle Williams? Loves swinging in that left hook, but caught by a right hand. 
able to leave himself open. Dazzo Williams. And Rutherford trying to get hold of the middle of the ring and back Williams up now. Well, that could be the problem for Williams. If he just overcommits himself, leaves himself open, that's where Rutherford could get through. Work rate, accuracy, commitment, first class here in Hereford. A little spell for Rutherford, but Williams clenches his teeth and you see the determination in his face. Both have trained so frenetically hard for this. Rutherford, a fitness fanatic who's been sparring with Derry Matthews, the tall Liverpool fighter. Williams, who's been abroad and has finished off in the Welsh Valleys. Good. Couple of shots from Dazzo Williams. Rutherford came back. The heavier artillery with Williams. The other cut working so well there for Williams. The legs just looked heavy there for a little while from Rutherford. Has been down before, Roy Rutherford. Tremendous right hand, Adam, from Rutherford. This is what domestic boxing is all about. How well matched are these two? Again, he's had some good times in this round, Rutherford, but just a little bit more from Williams. Just that bit more in incentive. Rutherford believed he had done the more superior work in Belfast. Williams, the fresher and more punches. Are you seeing the same sort of development? It's more exciting, no question. Well, the time's very free singing, free swinging, isn't it? Nine minutes of cracking action. Who's winning it? Williams is doing better of the work. It's very, very good. They're both having their moments. Rutherford scored with a couple of peaches of shots there. But Williams comes firing back and at this point just seems to want it that bit more. It's only the 13th fight of Dazzo Williams's professional career. Is he getting better with each experience in the ring? Fight number 21 for Roy Rutherford. He's had a bit of a slow-burning career until that night where he won the British title against Jamie McKeever. Now he wants it back. Good use of the jab from Williams. Excellent start. Brotherford has to try and pick his work rate up a little bit more than he is. He's allowing Williams just to force the tempo of the fight. Both inside the nine stone weight at the first time of asking, but uh, Rutherford's campaigned at higher weights in the past, had to grind his body down. Williams has come up from super bantamweight, maybe a more natural featherweight now. The defensive work for Williams as well, as he just pushes forward, looking for his jabs. Left hook to the body will come into play again from Williams, who's making better use of his reach and boxing skills here. And it's, Will it's Rutherford who's got to try and find something different here. He's got to try and follow the course of this contest. Oh, eye-catching right hand from Dazzo Williams. And Rutherford, who wanted that fast start, to get the rounds behind him, 
is not doing that. Because they're trying to get the jab working, but falling short for that. And if anything, just laying themselves up for another one of those right hands. We're watching an improved campaigner in Dazzo Williams, who may be 30, but uh, this last year has been an excellent one for him. Yes, we're watching a man who has got a bit of belief in what he can do. And this is the difference. Another good round for Dazzo Williams. And Rutherford at the moment just not doing enough. Can't get in range, getting picked off. But they're working so hard. Can they keep it up? Statistic in particular, Glenn. Yeah, 66 landed the 42 of Brotherford. It's quite telling because all of those punches seem to be slightly harder as well, don't they? Tazo Williams, who was booed in the King's Hall, Belfast when he got the decision over Roy Brotherford. He was furious about that. Says he's going to make sure, no question this time, get rid of Brotherford forever. But there's so much respect between these two. That was a good left hook going in there from Williams, who's just that little bit sharper as well. Beats Rutherford to the punch. Is Dazzo Williams a much younger 30-year-old than Roy Rutherford is? Well, he's less experienced, he's had lots of fights, so that obviously might tell a difference, but I think the, the question is now, he's come on so much, hasn't he? He wants it. Top from Dazzo Williams again the left hook to the body He's grinding Rutherford down who's still throwing shots but less than he was in the first couple of rounds the jab working as well that's upsetting the rhythm of Rutherford left hook dug into the ribs again from Dazzo Williams back comes Rutherford What's he got to do, the Coventry challenger? Well, it's so hard because somehow he's got to try and take the play away from Williams. And Williams is also the better boxer. You know, he can rely on that. He can move around and use his jab when he has to, as well as this intensity that he's showing us. Will Rutherford grow into this fight as he has so often? before down the stretch or is he losing too many rounds as Williams really fires in these shots this is a hungry hungry fighter it really is the fighter with something to prove I think he's also enjoying being in front of his home crowd who are roaring him on aren't they well, one of the best atmospheres in a leisure centre we've had for a long time. Really, really intense. The heat in here and the electricity that are coming from the fans as well. Rutherford, for his part, trying to keep it together, trying to salvage something and get something going in there. Needs a punch to turn the tide a little bit. Occasionally comes through the Williams guard but it's not often enough and these rounds are being ground down by Dazzo Williams as he switches southpaw to confuse Rutherford further got to get him to really lift his play. He's got to try and beat him. Williams to the punch, and that looks very, very hard. 
Here's the sixth round. Is it 5-0 to Dazzo Williams? Referee Richie Davis scores. Remember, Williams in the white trunks with the white boots defending his British title. Yep. And that's how you've got it. 5-0 on my court. Being five, well, four round with Rutherford always having a play in every round. But Williams, that bit more work. That's it, doesn't really tell the story so far. I mean, you can't take your eyes off this. No, he's winning in very good, hard four rounds, but he's doing that bit more. Going forward on the back foot, you know, with a jab, with a counter, he's just got that extra punch. Can Rutherford shake Williams at all? Seven stoppages only in his 17 fights. But then Williams is no big puncher either. There he just gets uh, the jab going again and then switches to the body. Good variety, isn't it, from Dazza Williams? Absolutely. Both former. English ABA champions. It is Williams becoming a more polished professional, a harder man. Imagine those fitness sessions with Steve Robinson. You couldn't get a fighter fitter than Steve. That's right, and that's obviously paying dividends, isn't it? Really worked hard, getting himself in fine condition. Will Williams tire, or is he as fit as the camp say he is? Because Rutherford's always had good stamina. Well, that could happen, according to the Rutherford camp. They were quite confident about their man. They really worked hard with him. The combinations, the quantity, the quality from Dazzo Williams, improving round by round that he's become British champion. Very impressive. Well, Rutherford doing a little bit better in this round, but even on the back foot, he comes away with something, doesn't he, Williams? He can just skip away and switch hit and just you know, knock the head back. Again, Williams digs in. Has to take one on the way. That'll give Rutherford confidence. At the end of the sixth round, let's see how uh, Spencer Oliver is seeing it with Craig Slater. Yeah, terrific contest, this Spencer. How firm a grip does Dazzle Williams have on it? Well, Dazzle Williams is the one that's getting off of his shots first. He's the one dominating in there at the moment. And when they get inside, he's throwing a lovely right uppercut and getting success inside as well. If Roy Rutherford wants to get into this contest, he's the one that needs to start getting off of his shots and a little bit more movement. Rutherford at the moment is trying to play in Dazzle Williams' hands, trying to press forward, and that's where Williams wants to be. Williams is the one dominating at the moment. I thought at a terrific pace. Can this go 12 rounds? Well, Williams just starting to tire there towards the end of the sixth round, looking a little bit tired. And Roy Rutherford, as always, shows that grit and determination and trying to come back there at the end of the sixth round. There's still a long way to go in this contest. Williams for you? Williams at the moment, all Williams. Thanks, Spencer. All Williams, says Spencer Oliver. But was there just a mini, mini shift in the plot? with the last 10 seconds of that round. Well, I didn't even think the last 10, I just thought overall, I thought Rutherford just nicked that last round. And there just seemed a little change as Williams just fractionally looked to tire. How much energy have they both given and consumed and have left? This has been fought at an absolute hectic pace. As we move into the second half, will this be Roy Rutherford's territory? He badly needs rounds. There's the, the variety working well. He's come out looking for action there, Williams. Friends and family on their feet at ringside for Dazzo Williams. Roy Rutherford's brought a few Two from Coventry. A lot of interest domestically in this one. It's 
been a bit of a merry-go-round, this British featherweight title of late. People losing it at the first defence. In Dazzo Williams, do you think we've got somebody who can go on and uh, keep retaining this? Well, the way he's fighting so far, certainly he looks one that's got a, a good few defences in him. But you just sense that Rutherford's not quite done with yet. It's an unbelievable life, Roy Rutherford. He works nights, trains in the day, just pushes Buzzer Williams down, but a certain tired look suddenly from the Hereford man. Yeah, just the fact that Rutherford can do that, can push him back. He hasn't been able to do that so far through this fight. But so much effort into this, Dazzo Williams. Just stands at his nose, can mark up from time to time. Still coming away with the punches, though, even though he's starting to tire. Could the second half of the fight be Rutherford's? Rutherford is starting to impose physical strength. Remember, he campaigned at lightweight as an amateur, fought as a super featherweight in his last fight out. And look at this show from Roy Rutherford. Very, very good, isn't it? And I just sense that Roy Rutherford senses maybe Dazza Williams is tiring. Because he's picked it up. He's the one that's starting to throw more of the punches and having the biggest success, and that's Rutherford's round. And the crowd are loving it. But are they slightly worried? Steve Robinson there, Di Gardner. Suck it in, suck it in, says Steve Robinson. You can barely hear him in this uh, incredible atmosphere. Yep. You can just tell he's starting to tire. The legs are looking a little wobbly as he tries to keep his balance. But that's obviously a, a, a short of tiredness. But isn't he coming out stronger, Roy Rutherford? The British featherweight title that all this hard work, the weeks of training, the amount of leather thrown so far, unbelievable. And they're still only in round eight. Dazzo Williams, the champion, with the much, much better start. But Roy Rutherford's gritted his teeth, he's weathered the storm, and in the last couple, he's made it a different fight. tries the uppercut but will he run out of puff is there a possibility well with this sort of intensity that could certainly have it i'd like to see william get back behind that jab a little bit just take his time just try and get a, a breather in the fight switch hitting again dazzo williams doesn't want to let the round slip away as rutherford has more success here in the middle part of the fight what happened in Belfast, Rutherford came on strong. <laughs> Are both finally feeling the pace? Well, it had to happen, but Hogan picked themselves up again. Both having their successes in this round. Williams just looking to box a little bit more. That's what he needs to do. Just give himself the time to get a breather. Crisper work from Roy Rutherford, though, here in the eighth round. Three good shots, heavy against the head of Williams. Just holds on there. 
Lazo Williams, the former army man who had to suck up a right uppercut. That was the punch he was getting through with early on. Oh, this is good. Changing patterns in the fight. Still with the same intensity. How much hunger and ambition is in that ring? A huge, huge amount. Well, it shows what that old belt of Lord Lonsdale's means to fighters. An awful lot. Punch for punch there. Rutherford with a wry smile. There's a bit of blood from his mouth. Surely cuts had to happen as they again go toe to toe in the middle of the ring. Richie Davis hasn't had to do anything. They're saying you've got to work harder, impossible. <laughs> well, they're going to try and push him as hard as they can. That's their job. They've got to instill that desire, instill that passion into their man, and they're doing a good job because Roy Rutherford is just getting himself back into this bit by bit, clawing his way back. Says the wise old voice of Di Gardner. He just tended a little neck in the red corner to Roy Rutherford's left eye. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Unfortunately, there's only four rounds left. We could watch this all night, couldn't we? <laughs> but I'm not sure they could do this all night. It's hard enough doing it this long. Small blemish under the left eye of Gazzo Williams, too. Who will finish better in these latter rounds? Has Williams got enough of a lead in the first half? Good body shot and turned it to the, the head punch. So he's getting a bit of a second wind, isn't he, Dazzle Williams? Come on, full of fire. First minute of the round, work rate up again from Williams, but this may be where Rutherford has his little burst. Better shots coming from Williams so far, though, in the night. And it's Rutherford's turn to look a, a little sluggish, a little... Heavy legged and tired. I didn't get out of the way of that jab, Roy Rutherford. And uh, tumbles to the ground. That may be a sign now of Rutherford's tiredness. They must be absolutely shattered, the pair of them. They are fighting for pride that coveted British title. Look how much it means. Well, they're putting on a treat, on they, for the people of Hereford. They've waited a long time for a, a British title fight in the Sony. Gonna enjoy this one. The balmy early summer's evening here. You are witnessing a small hall sizzler between Dazzo Williams and Roy Rutherford, which is an absolute pleasure to be ringside for. Just hasn't got it going in this round, Rutherford. He jumps to one side, then the other, trying to get an angle, but hasn't got the, the strength to get the punches off. Sucks the air, Rutherford digs his boots into the canvas. But Williams makes the breakthrough again, and look what that means to him. And this 
is why they want the British featherweight title. Look at this history. Peerless Jim Driscoll, who held it 1907 to 13, the great Ted Kid Lewis. Fabulous fighter. The Welshman Howard Winston in the 60s. And our own Barry McGuick. Look at that, and he's loving this one. Paul Ingle, fabulous fighter. And currently our world champion, who's in action later in the month, Scott Harrison. And Dazza Williams, the only fighter since Scott Harrison to retain the British title. And uh, Glenn looks like, and I only say looks like at the moment, he's on course to keep hold of it. Well, it's such a great fight. I would like to still pick a winner. He looks stronger in that round, but you can guarantee Roy Rutherford's still got a bit left in him. He's not going to give up on this. Nine minutes left, and if they're anything like the first nine minutes, we're in for a treat. And Rutherford gets through that, and Williams wobbles. Again. Good right hand there from Rutherford. That one stopped Williams in his tracks. No knockdowns yet. Will there be as the fighters tire from their incredible effort? And Adam, one of the things here, when you get this tired, Every punch takes a toll, it's toll. And a fighter can just fall apart at any point. Yeah, the heat in the uh, arena, the strength and the punches. We saw recently how uh, Matt Skelton just overstrength Michael Sprott for the British and Commonwealth heavyweight titles. And Sprott really just capitulated in the last round. Will we have a similar ending here? Yep, the time comes when you're physically all done and it's it just, you're fighting on instinct. And that's what I think these are two are probably doing now. Tasty looking right uppercut from Williams. He tries it again. And you've got to wonder how Richie Davis is seeing this because some of these rounds have been very close. Looking to push Williams onto the back foot, pressure him to the body. Williams missing with those shots. Right hook from Rutherford, much to the delight of his corner alongside us. But Williams comes back again with shots that will take the eye of Richie Davis. Overall, he just seems to have done that bit more, Williams, unless he suddenly unravels in the closing rounds. Rutherford's doing well on the back four, he's back against the ropes, he's getting through with some nice shots. The other cut was a good one. Richie Davis whispers down to us at ringside, great, great fight. I'm sure it's up there with those he's refereed before. A little bit less from Williams that round. says Di Gardner, they're really trying to egg him on. Yep, I think Rutherford got the, the better of that round. He did some good work on the front foot and on the, the back foot. And you can see he's desperately tired, Dazzle Williams, and they're really trying to pick him up. They don't want him to drop his head. Nearly a thousand punches thrown. Congratulations on that so far, but look at that. 160 landed, the stats favour. Dazzo Williams. So does Barry McGuigan alongside. Asked by a long way, Glenn. Have you got it tighter? Yeah, I've got it uh, quite a bit tighter. I think 
Williams done some good work over 96 94 in Williams' favour. But I've had Rutherford coming back a little bit over the second half of the fight. Isn't it going to be one of those that springs up yet more controversy? I think both fighters will feel they've won this. They've certainly worked hard enough to win it. Oh, good punches from Dazzo Williams. Again, the accuracy and added tempo of the champion seeing him through. He goes back to the corner and that one minute recharges the batteries, but he's took a couple of good shots from Rutherford there. Legs just split there of Dazzo Williams. Roy Rutherford may be able to sense that. Comes back with the, the left two. How on earth are they throwing so many accurate punches still at this late stage? They've done it every single round. Tries for the combination, Rutherford misses. And it's Williams who gets the, the cleaner punches on. Uppercuts have been a success for Dazza Williams. It hasn't been the uh, easier punching display that saw him retain against Jamie McKeever a couple of months ago. This has been rugged and hard all the way. I must say, this is the sort of fight you don't want to have too many times in your career. Good right hand there from Williams. Went straight through, and Rutherford felt that. Suddenly, he looks tired. They've really worked the body, the pair of them, trying to outdo each other for fitness and stamina. Hardly a clinch. Richie Davis is just standing on admiringly, I think. Just enjoying working this fight. Both connect there. Rutherford tries as he has done in the last few rounds. In the last part of them. So hard. But is that another one for Williams? Well, that punch is landed. Again, the stats favour Dazzo Williams, who had that terrific first five or six rounds. Surely he's got enough in the bank, and Rutherford needs the knockout then. Yeah, I would think so at this stage. I think Rutherford does need the knockout. But don't worry, he'll be trying for it in the last round. I'm expecting a tremendous 12, as the, the other 11 have been. Both connecting the shots there, Rutherford, the upper cut, Williams, the right hand. A truly fabulous fight. Eleven scintillating rounds for the British title. And I don't think it's quite over yet. Well, Williams will want to give his fans the, the big finish. Rutherford knows he's got a bit to do. He sold all these tickets, Dazzo Williams. He's worked so hard, and his confidence has grown, and his ability too. And Rutherford pull up some major surprise here in the 12th, or is he staring a more convincing defeat in the face? Still throwing punches. Twelve torrid rounds of boxing. 
but he's just had that extra motivation. He's just worked that bit harder, Dazzle Williams. Both 30 years of age, quite old for featherweight, especially Dazzle Williams, and only his 13th fight. It's a testament to their character and their training teams to have uh, performed in such memorable circumstances. Look at Rutherford, still so game, still trying, still hoping. Been a tremendous challenge from Roy Rutherford, really has worked so hard, deserves a lot of credit. Hereford have been devoid of sporting success over the years, but as we enter the last minute, are they going to have a coming home party for Dazzo Williams? Because the quiet Cathedral City will be fired up tonight if Williams retains the title, which surely he has. Yeah, it looks like this round's going his way as well. And he's going to be a more comfortable winner this time around, Dazzo Williams, but he's deserved it. This is not world-level boxing that you're watching, but for the British featherweight title, admire the effort, admire the dedication, admire the commitment. This has been one of the best domestic fights of the last year or two, hasn't it? It really has. It's been a pleasure to watch. Dazzo Williams retains his British featherweight title on the night of his life. He's sealed the victory over Roy Rutherford. He's made sure. What an effort from the Coventry challenger. And how about the crowd? He congratulates them. I think there's more than 1,200 in here tonight. They've made it an absolutely memorable night. And one we shall say we're watching back. Fabulous stuff. And conducted with grace and a great deal of respect mutually between these two warriors. Yeah, the crowd certainly enjoyed it. Tommy Gilmore's got a, a broad grin on his face. Huge amount of punches, great fight. Well done, Dazzo Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, before the end, Richie Davis would like you to show your appreciation. That was 12 fantastic rounds of boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, please, you have just witnessed the fight of the year. So the official scorecard. Rutherford 112, Williams 117. He is still the British Bellaway champion from Hereford. Dazzo Williams. And now to present the coveted Lonsdale belt, our representative in charge, Charlie Giles. And ladies and champion and growing into the role. What spirit between these two throughout and afterwards. Rutherford. And Rutherford's getting a magnificent hand here. But it's Williams' night, no question. Barry, what were your thoughts on Williams' performance? He was much more mature. He's blossomed as a fighter. His lateral movement was better. His body punches was better. He was just a more complete fighter. His combination punches was better. He really was a more slick fighter. He used his jab beautifully. Now, when he had to, still a bit wild and a bit fractious at times, but I think in general, he has just blossomed as a fighter and he's shown the maturity that he's got from winning this title. We need, so, thank you, Barry. We need to watch him. It's only his 13th professional fight tonight. Craig Slater's going to talk to him now. That's a tremendous performance, but how deep did you have to dig in those later rounds? I had to dig in deep tonight. I know Roy come for it, I know he was fit, he was determined and I hit him some good bloody shots in the first, in the first five rounds and he just kept on coming back and I knew he'd be stronger. I had to dig in hard there, that was an hard fight and I hope I've cleared the decision now, like everybody said I lost, I won it by controversy but I hope I made it a clearer statement tonight. 
You're glad to see the back of Roy Rutherford. You look forward to a fresh challenge now? I am. I'm glad to see the boy back of Roy. I'm looking forward to my newborn son coming in 10 weeks' time with my wife, Kate. But um, I've had a good team with me. I've got Tommy Gilmore managing behind me. I've got Steve Robinson, Di Garner. Let's bring in Tommy Gilmore. Some uh, big fights potentially in the pipeline for Dazzle. Nicky Cook's the European champion. He'll need a rest. But can you make that one? Well, I, I, I don't see any difficulty because that is going to go out to push off us very shortly. But whether we do that route or whether we take another route, I would like to see Daz in the Lonsdale belt outright. And if we can do another night like this in, in Hereford, then that's what we should do. Daz briefly, uh, a word for your Hereford fans. What part did they play? Oh, brilliant. I mean, the atmosphere. <laughs> I didn't want it to get to me, but I couldn't help look around and it's unbelievable. And like, what little fans are. They've never had boxing up here for years and uh, they just listen to them. Well done. Enjoy the party tonight. Well done. He did take a risk, you know, Barry. But he said, above all, I want to fight for the British title in front of my home public. Yeah. He's a winner all round, isn't he? Yeah, well, it was one of the best domestic fights I've seen in a long time. The effort and energy in every one of, every one of those punches. You know, Dazzler's not a natural puncher, but he threw everything into those punches, and so did Roy Rutherford. That's off to him. He tried his very best. And there are no spring chickens at 30 years old. Uh, but he has matured and blossomed, and he looks a more complete fighter. He's a long way to go yet, but Nicky Cook's on the horizon, Alonzo Belgo rides on the horizon, so great stuff. And didn't we see tonight and here tonight just what all that means, the tradition of a British title yes, and the Lonsdale Belt. Absolutely, and the Hereford crowd here, you know, we'll come again here, this is a magnificent crowd, and if, uh, you know, Tommy Gilmer's lucky enough to win the first bids, I'm sure he'll try and stage it here. What an atmosphere. Is he getting better, Williams? He's definitely you? getting better. He's things to do. And I know, you know, as I said before, he's no spring chicken, but he is improving. And his body punching was really sublime. To the left hook to the body was fantastic. It came home to roost in the late rounds. And I just think he was a much more improved fighter. Thank you, Barry. Flaming June. Straight on to Saturday night. It just keeps coming. Matt Skelton tops the bill, defending the Commonwealth heavyweight title against Bob Mirovich of Australia. Graham Earl and Bobby Vanzi for the vacant British lightweight title. That gets us underway Saturday fight night from 10 on Sky Sports 1. And then in the early hours of Sunday morning from Las Vegas, Oscar De La Hoya, Felix Sturm and Bernard Hopkins against Robert Allen, two of the superstars of world boxing, all lined up, I hope. Join us, Sky Box office, 2 a.m., it's repeated at 8 and at noon on Sunday morning. 08705 800 888 is the number to call. My thanks again to Barry McGuigan. Thank I hope you. very much that you've enjoyed it too. It has been a memorable night and a memorable fight.